United Way of East Central Iowa was founded in 1914 as one of the first United Ways in the United States. Throughout the last 100 years, United Way of East Central Iowa has held several name changes, survived the Great Depression, World War II, and the devastating flood of 2008. A lot has happened within the last century, and we've adjusted course several times over the years, and adapted to the challenges we faced, and responded to the needs across several generations in our community. It's been quite a journey. Not many organizations survive for 100 years, whether they're private industries, nonprofits, and I think it speaks well to um, the organization. And the credit goes to all the leaders before us who have built the organization to what it is today. The journey continued through the 1930s as United Way responded to needs that were brought on by the Great Depression and World War II. In 1931, $165,000 was raised, and at the time, the largest fund drive in Cedar Rapids history, benefiting unemployed workers and their families. The Depression forced partners to cut budgets. The campaign goal was lowered to $56,000 in 1933. In 1935, the campaign rebounded and raised $80,335. Arthur Poe, H.R. Green, and A.L. Smulikoff were campaign chairs during this time. One of the most memorable of the community leaders was John Northcott. Today, the Northcott Award is our most prestigious volunteer award and is named after him. The 30s also introduced the red feather as a symbol and offered a red feather to every donor who gave to the campaign, reminding them it's a feather in your cap if you give to Community Chest. In the early 70s, the name changed to United Way of Lynn County, and the logo changed to the Helping Hands in an effort to remind donors how they can help those in need through United Way. Anita Terpstra was the first female president of the United Way board in 1975, and toward the end of the decade, the campaign had successfully raised $1.9 million under campaign chair Verl Justice. In the 1980s, United Way of Lynn County expanded to seven counties and changed its name to the current name of United Way of East Central Iowa. United Way celebrated its 75th anniversary with the campaign theme of United Way Strong and led by campaign chair Dave Miller with a goal of $4.044 million. In its 75th year, it was estimated that 9 out of 10 local people were touched by a United Way funded agency in some way during the year. In the mid-90s, volunteer efforts expanded, and a record number of volunteer hours were pledged during KCRG TV 9's 1994 two-hour volunteer-a-thon. Several influential volunteers who led campaigns during the 90s include Jack Evans, Gary Streit, Kathy Eno, and Terry Christofferson. By 1999, the campaign had grown to raise $6.4 million. In 2004, United Way launched the United Way 211 hotline in an effort to connect callers to appropriate community resources 24 hours a day. And in 2007, Lydia Brown chaired the campaign that surpassed the $10 million mark for the first time in United Way of East Central Iowa history. You know, I just really felt strongly that that was the time to do it. And as it turns out, I think it was really a critical, pivotal time in the United Way because the flood came a year later and we'd already surpassed the $10 million threshold and that became very important as flood recovery came into the equation as well. In 2008, the flood hit the community in June and United Way stepped up to help those in need. United Way organized hundreds of volunteers to help with recovery efforts and created a flood recovery fund that raised more than one million dollars to go to the agencies for flood recovery. In 2012 and 2013, more than 500 companies partnered in United Way's campaign, including 20,000 donors and volunteers who helped raise more than $10 million each year since 2007. Throughout the past 100 years, United Way of East Central Iowa has raised $238 million and has adapted to the challenges it's faced and responded to the needs of individuals across several generations. In 2014, a multi-generational family and father and son team lead the United Way fundraising campaign for the first time in United Way history.